Hi everyone, thanks for joining the uh, Topps Series 1 Rip Party. We're on uh, random box break number 4 of 2022 Topps Series 1 Baseball, 6 box jumbo, random box 4. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Paul, Sean, Brian, Matthew, and Jason, thank you so much. There are your box numbers right there. We're going to pop open this case first and number the boxes, and then we'll see, uh, we'll randomize names and box numbers and see what you end up with. Thanks everyone for participating in the Topps Rip Party. And got to, got to take a look at all this stuff a, a day earlier than everybody else, which is awesome. All right, so you can see four, five, and six right up there. And then one, two, three marked on the bottom right hand corner of the box there. All right, now let's flip back to the screen here. And let's roll it and randomize names and numbers two and a three, five times. Five times each. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We got Sean down to a couple Bryans. Two and a three, five times for the box numbers. One, good luck. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got two down to five. And we'll do these in numerical order. All right, Sean with two, Jason with six, Matthew with three, Paul with four, Brian with one, and five. And Brian, since you have box number one, let's order these by numerically. Since you have uh, box one and five, we're going to do yours first. Both of yours first. And then we'll go Sean, Matthew, Paul, and Jason. So let's start printing these out. This random box four. We've got another random box break, number five, coming up directly after this. And Jason Jaspi is here to help me with the, uh, with the pack ripping. All right, Brian, with uh, box number one, we're gonna start with you. Here's box one and box five. And then Jason will show you the boxes on the top camera before he rips your boxes. It's two, three, four, six. And this is Brian's box five right over here. I'm gonna start with box one right over here. All right, Brian Peebles, good luck. Thank you. Your silver packs right over here. We have not, Chad. If you look at the schedule that's in the chat, that'll tell you um, exactly when that break's going to happen. Yeah, be sure to check. If you're wondering when your break's going to be, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check the schedule. Tonight is is one of the perfect nights to be able to, uh, one of the best reasons why you need to monitor that schedule page. Pinned in the chat, as always. And then I think our virtual assistant, Nightbot, drops that link in the chat pretty frequently as well. So then you can kind of time your evenings. We are actually behind schedule a little bit, but I think on the random teams, I feel like we should be able to catch up a little bit.
right, and Brian, here's your next box right here as well. And we'll do all your silver packs last. Your two jumbo cards. For Trevor Rogers. Had a really nice season last year. And Joe Adele, one of uh, the Angels' future stars. And I'll do a quick little uh, recap for you at the end. We'll do a recap after everyone's boxes. So we've noticed a pattern. If we see Corbin Burns, we should see Wander Franco right after that. And then usually Christian Yelich right after that. First relic, Paul Goldschmidt. And there's Trevor Rogers' autograph. There you go. Miami Marlins have a low-key, really good pitching staff. Have we pulled a lot of the of the mantle inserts? Mickey Mantle? I feel like I've not seen a lot of Mickey Mantle stuff. Unless I've just been breezing by those inserts, but I feel like I would have noticed at least a couple. If I've happened to miss anything, I'm sure it'll show up on camera and it's all card ship. Tatis Jr. in that 87 design. Marcus Stroman, uh, short print, it says 6 0 on the back. It's of him hitting. Mm -hmm. 
Those mans are supposed to be very rare, says Jorge. So yeah, no, I've, I've not noticed any. Oh, there it is. Corbin Burns, Wander Franco, Christian Yalich. So he's in between two brewers? Yeah. So Corbin Burns, and then Wander Franco, and then Yelich behind him. At least for the base Wander Franco rookie cards. This has to be the shipping crew's favorite time of the year. They love it, Rex. They say, are there breaks for me to sort and ship out to our, our customers who use their hard-earned money to pay for baseball cards? Yes, we're down to ship it. How big is the break? No big too break no break too big, no break too small for our shipping team, Rex. Ronald Acuna Jr. City Flag Patch. Here at Jaspies, every day is our favorite time of the year. Walk off water, three ninety eight out of twenty twenty two. Nice. All right, Ryan, that was your first box. Here's your second box. Good luck. I'm not sucking up to the shipping team. They should be sucking up to me, Rex. That's just the kind of team that we build, Rex. I don't know what kind of teams you're building. I don't know what kind of teams you're building, Shannon. Yo, there, yeah, there. what kind of teams are you building? He's, you're building a team of complainers, apparently. Oh, we gotta unload all this? Come on, Rex. We must have that kind of crew. We have a can-do crew. Here. If they can't do it, hit the bricks, pal. We'll find someone else who will. You can go back to digging ditches while someone else will easily step up and be like, well, you're going to pay me to sort baseball cards? Okay. How many? How much? How long? It's a salute to mix. Okay, so we'll have to look for a salute to set. Salute to Mickey Mantle. And there's Gavin Sheets, rookie autograph, your second auto for Brian. Oh, and another Wander Franco, there he is, and then Christian Yelich. All right, so a couple of Wanders. We want to find, we have not seen, ladies and gentlemen, any like numbered card. Of Wander Franco. I'm gonna find that. There's a Chris Sale relic. That's what was jamming me up there.
Rex, you'll come in and sort. Twenty dollars a break credit an hour. Easy. Done. Done and done. Tim, you'll you'll sort for us too when you come in town. Come into town for some product. Sure. All right, there's Satchel Page. That one's actually numbered. Have all of these been numbered? No, that one's not numbered. This is special. Yeah, it's a little sort of slightly different color here. Satchel Page, die cut, number. Brian Peoples. 66 out of 75. You can, you can notice that the same one doesn't have that number. I think that's the first of that I've seen. Cool. Arlington Pride, Adalas Garcia. That's really cool. Got Brandon Crawford, 739 out of 2022. Jacob DeGrom die cut. And Wander Franco, 1987. Nice. Jacob DeGrom die cut, not numbered. Brandon Crawford, numbered. Loading all the numbered cards. Let's keep that consistent. Oh, your kids know how to sort? Started them early? Good. Yeah, we actually have some... Uh, we actually have some, some customers, some clients um, who have, like, kids who are, like, kind of in their mid teens getting into their late teens and they're starting to starting to ask us like hey is there you know my son's been my son or daughter even daughters even have been working on sorting my stuff for a long time blah 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 you know you think there could be a summer job in the future for them we're like yeah absolutely if we've got if we've got some openings we'll, we'll try to put them to work Correct, Rex. The, this is the first time we're seeing Cleveland Guardians on a uh, nice King's Gold. Well, I have no examples here yet. I'm sure there'll be some more examples later on, but yeah, they do say Cleveland Guardians on them now. So this is the debut of the Cleveland Guardians in a, in a major Pops product. All right, your silver packs, Brian. Good luck. Could be autographs in here. Could be numbered card in here. That Bellinger is, is different. That is numbered. That's to 50. Slight difference. My 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 eye caught it. All right. Numbered Cody Bellinger is pretty cool. Not too.
too bad, I want to say. Let's take, let's take a quick look at Brian Peebles' two boxes here. Some numbered cards, some Wander Francos, some Relics, some Wanders, Gavin Sheets. So not too, not too bad, I think. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Next person. Next guy is Sean Kirkham. Box two. I think everyone else just had one box. So Matthew, you're up after this, then Paul, then Jason. All right. Good luck, Sean. Thanks for getting into uh, random box break number four. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Brian. A few wanderers. A little Cunha patch. I'll take it. Jazz Chisholm. All right, onwards. Good luck. Cleveland card to show Rex. I haven't seen one yet. Now that I'm like looking for it, there it is. Rex. So you got the uh, Cleveland C right there, and then it says Cleveland Guardian. And I think on some of the inserts, they'll actually put the put their logo there too. We'll see if we can spot some of those. So yeah, it's their it's their debut. I think on these type of cards, it'll have the the logo with the wings on it. So your girls, Tim's girls just started on collecting their own Space Jam cards. We got some Space Jam packs here. And now they want to get into some Fortnite. The uh, Pokemon is still popular amongst the boys and girls in the air, in the uh, in this area at least. We got a Mike Trout Orange County Home Field Advantage card. Nice. I think these are very short printed. Although this is the second Mike Trout we've seen in four cases. One case didn't have one. Another one was like Juan Soto. There's a Willie Mays die cut, not numbered. Yeah, they, they, they kept the C. It's like, if you notice, it's slightly different. They kind of have a point at the top of the C now. It's not as, not as smooth, but you can see that's indented in a little bit, but still uh, not exactly the, the block C that they had. But yeah, they still retained a lot of the classic elements. There is San Francisco Pride, Buster Posey. Yes, Pride of San Francisco for sure. Yeah, Joe P was in here earlier, Rex, saying he was sort of undecided on whether he likes the design of the set this year. I think it looks pretty clean. I don't think they really, I'm not sure if it's going to win like design awards or anything like that, but it's also far from being bad. I think it's just a nice clean look. For me, as a group breaker, I like that the, the text is nice and big. You can see a nice sharp logo here. Clean clean border. You know, some, some good, good accents of color right here if, if you're Miami. You know, and then kind of wraps around the, the logo there. Gives you the position shadows down there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. There's Kyle Hendricks. 909 out of 2022. And these cards will kind of have that sort of pattern right there, kind of fading in and out there, a little gradient. So it kind of keeps that centered. You can see it with these cards too. And of course, the classic 87. Corbin Burns, and then Wander Franco, and then Christian Yelich. That's the pattern. You can see a Corbin Burns. Wander should be right after that, and then Yelich right after that. So that's the pattern we've noticed in these boxes. Uh, Major League Material, Zach Ranke. Uh, Tyler Gilbert. Rookie auto for Sean. This is Sean's box here. We'll do a quick little uh, recap for, of your box at the when I'm done with your silver packs. That way when you're re-watching your video, you can kind of skip to when I show your name on camera and then Skip right to the end of that. Yeah, they just scored. Yeah. Peoples is record done, so. Yes, Peoples is done. It's already the third period too. Four minutes left. Who's this guy? This is, this is Sean Kirkham. Yeah. Nice. Sean. Yeah. And there's Bogsy in his 87 design. All right. Well, let's see what we got in your uh, your silver packs, Sean. Harper, Jack Flaherty. All right. Nice break, Sean. Thank you for joining. Thanks for all of that. Appreciate it. Here's a quick little recap of your box. Did get a, did get a Wander Franco and that nice Mike Trout home field advantage card. Very reminiscent of another company who does homages to cities. All right. Matthew. And then, uh, Paul, you're after Matthew. All right. Good luck. There's your jumbo card right here. TK, yeah, I know. Tops sent us these shirts for, uh, sent me this shirt for the rip party. So I appreciate that, Tops. Thank you. They must be on sale somewhere. I feel like I saw Target had Topps shirts. Am I wrong on that? Am I making that up? 
in my head. Not there was like a a red tops shirt. All right, Matthew, our first Juan Franco of the box, first of many, I hope. We have not, I, and I've mentioned this before, mentioned it again. We have not seen any numbered cards of Wander Franco. Certainly have not seen an autograph of Wander Franco. There's Chaz McCormick. So it'll be nice to see. We have seen some inserts of Wander Franco. We've seen a Wander Franco silver pack and the wood frame border 1987 Wander Franco. We have not seen anything like numbered or auto. So something to continue to look out for. We've got many cases to go tonight, so... Hopefully we'll, we'll find a couple of those before the night is out. Yeah, like we've seen this before. Here's a Wander Franco 2021's Greatest Hits insert. Got a Diamondbacks team card, 446 out of 2022. Oh, these medallion cards are really cool. I know they're just manufactured, but I think they're really sharp. There must be keychains like this, right? That'd be a cool keychain. Commemorative MLB silhouette batter logo medallion. Ryan Mountcastle. Ooh, okay, okay. So Danny with the scoop. Jesse on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks. Jesse on Instagram just pulled a Franco autograph and it's a redemption. So let's let's look out for we did have a redemption, but it was uh, in a many boxes ago, but it was it ended up being Gavin Sheets. Was the redemption like a base auto redemption or was it like a it was it like a insert auto, like a nineteen eighty seven thingy? Ooh, this is a Clayton Kershaw short print. Flipped around, last two numbers, last two digits, 60. Nice. The glove on his head. Nice one, Matthew. All right, second half of this box. It's always rain, yeah. Roberto Clemente. Get it in there. Oh. Ah, okay, so Jay Hooks got some info for us. 1987 Franco autos are redemptions according to eBay, but someone has a live silver pack Franco auto posted on eBay. So no word on the the regular auto, right? So that's still TVD. Salvador Pujols, Major League Material.
Oh. That kind of surprised me there. There's a redemption, it's, but it's Whit Merrifield. 1987 Topps Baseball Autograph Design. It's for you, Matthew. Snuck up on me there. All right, so that's the auto. Still have the silver packs. Clayton Kershaw die cut, not numbered, and Max Scherzer back there. All right, Matthew, silver packs. Let's see what we got. Clayton Kershaw to 150, 96 out of 150. Right, no autos or anything like that there, but still got that Clayton Kershaw. And here's what else you got. You got that Whit Merrifield redemption, relics, Kershaw short print, a medallion, and a couple of Wander Francos right there as well. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate it. All right, Paul, you're next. Number four and random box number four. Your silver packs and your jumbo is Alec Baum. Not to my knowledge, Rex. I don't think there will be. I suppose it all depends on how many more cases we're able to get get uh, sent to us, allocated back to us after this initial batch. So depending on that. But I feel like as of now, the main chase is just surrounds Wander Franco, so. Maybe random teams might work a little bit better. Uh, we're on case four right now, four of nine that we're gonna do tonight. Oh, there's the Wander Franco, the Alec after him. If you look at the schedule, it'll tell you Exactly how many we've done and how many more we've got to do. We've got, a, we've got a bit more to do. All right, Paul, your first Wander Franco. Although I guess I don't know how many cases we did on Whatnot or with Jesse. So, but for me, just three plus this fourth one right now. We've got a Yasmani Grandal, 737 out of 2022. And a Derek Jeter die cut.
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, after after we after we run through a bunch of cases after a wax party, we usually don't dip back too much into it. Obviously, a lot of factors, including price changes. A lot of times, the price on these goes up, especially if Wander Franco prices keep keep selling like that on the secondary market. There's Jazz Chisholm. Love these uh, silhouette medallions. They're manufactured, but they still look really cool. Yeah, it sounds like it's pretty rare then. So if he's done a f if he's got a few cases in the books or pending. If I've only done a few cases or so thus far, and I've not seen any of those mantles, yeah. Out of 71, woo! Wander Franco. Nice, seven out of 71, black border Wander Franco. Nice. That's for Paul Kovacs, box four in random box number four. Now think about how many millions of cards there are of series one. They, they make a lot. <laughs> they print a lot. So, so, you know, in a lot of other breaks, out of 71 may not sound too cool if you're doing like national treasures, right? When you're doing a set like this, out of 71 is pretty, pretty nice. Someone have a price guess or estimate on that? Is Rafael Devers, Major League Material, based around uh, what what we see on eBay at the moment? What's what some bids are up to? Rafael Devers relic for Paul. The out of 2022 is up to $338 on eBay already. Wow. We'll have to see what that sells at. There's Yuli Guriel. We'll have to see what that ends up, what the closing bid ends up being. 20 out of 99 on this one. Jay Hook says a blue to 50 is up to 2100 with four days left in bidding. So there you go, Paul. That, that'll kind of give you some idea of what, of what yours could go for. I mean, if you just add a... I didn't really pay too close attention to the card, but at a glance, it looks like it looks pretty good. I mean, you should put your own eyeballs on it, see if you want to grade that card. But if that grades out really nicely, a nine or maybe even a 10, but even at a nine, I would imagine it would still be pretty great. All right. Silver packs, silver packs.
pass. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he got his money. His he got his money back. I think he did okay there. We'll get the box price back. All right, nothing else there, but obviously a very nice break. You got a medallion. You got the Yuli Guriel, the Relic, the Base Wanderer, and of course the the Wander out of 71. Pretty amazing. All right, final box coming up. Box six, Jason. Jason P. Thank you for getting in. And thanks for waiting. We'll do your silver packs last. Here's your Joey Bart jumbo. Final box, good luck. Your Wander Franco, Jason. I feel like uh, I feel like every box. I don't think it's it's obviously not guaranteed, but I think one a base Wander Franco rookie card does seem to fall one per box. I think we saw some early boxes with two or three, but definitely at least one. And there could very well be some that are none. So so just keep that in mind. But so far so good. Xander Bogarts. Jersey and autograph, Yadier Molina, 18 out of 25. Is he entering his, this is his upcoming season, should be his last season, right? Or was last season his last season? Or does he have one more? I don't know. Either way, catching legend for the Cardinals, going to Jason. Nice number, too. Nice little number. Last box. Last box. You want to do me a favor and snap a picture of that? Yeah. Wander there? right there. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Someone was saying it's that thousand bucks, Danny honestly. was saying out of 2022, 338. And Jay Hook saying a blue out of 50 is bid up to 21 already. 2100? Yeah, with four days left. So that's probably like 1700 maybe? Yeah. Maybe 2000? No. Yeah. It depends on how that out of 50 sells. So that's something to watch. Molina signed a one-year extension for 2022. So this is his last year. Hall of Fame, right? Out of your Molina, it's got to be right. First ballot Hall of Fame. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, but Hall of Fame, right? Yeah, I think I was pretty close. I think he's, like a, he's a single digit jersey number, yeah. yeah. Two off. Uh, ready. He's 
stretch. Like, this was fun, like, you know, obviously, like, pack stacking and stuff, but I feel like it's more tiring. <laughs> the pack stacking is more tiring? Sit, you have to sit down and wait, like, you know, 30, 40 minutes and then do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at least there's, like, like a stay, rhythm. stay warm for, like, 40 minutes. Yeah, at least there's a rhythm, yeah. But you're, like, you have to, you're, like, a starting pitcher. You have to get up, sit down, get up, sit down. Looking back, I, I should have I should have done done gone with chair today. Oh really? I should have gone with chair. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if I'd ever be able to stand and break. I'd have to like be used to it for like at least a month or two. It took me like a month or two. The math does make a difference, all right? Yeah, it's huge. And then if you just wear comfortable shoes, you're pretty good. Allegedly healthy, healthier for you. you yeah, know. I'm sure it is. Sitting down for too long is not always too good. The truck drivers like get paid too right. much, and shit, but then they also have problems. Jazz Chisholm short print, nice six zero. There he is. A little pregame action here. Nice short print, Jason. Of DeGrom. I noticed that some of these die cuts can be numbered too. I saw a numbered one. Kind of going back to Yadier Molina, guys, I, I really think that we're. we're Kind of entering another nice era of catchers, right? It's Jose Altuve, Houston Pride. Like Kiebert Ruiz is in Washington. He's a big prospect for the Dodgers. Dodgers obviously have Will Smith. He's pretty good. Relatively young. Relatively young. Um, Adley Rushman, maybe in the next year or two, Joey should Bart. be. You say Joey Bart. And then Joey Bart, right? So that's like a good handful of catchers and. Sal Perez is still around raking, so got some solid catchers out there. Jose Altuve. And your last little bit right here, Jason, before your silver packs. Let's see what we got. Uh, Danny's saying sitting is the new smoking, they said. Is it really that bad? <laughs> well, for, yeah, longer is the timing, for sure. I mean, imagine, like, being a truck driver. With Tyler Glass now? I mean, yeah. at least when I'm breaking, yeah, I'm sitting down, but I'm, I also get but up yeah, a lot. Yeah, you're, you're getting up, up a lot. lot. Yeah, you're not sitting for eight hours a day, that's for sure. Yeah. There's Glass now, 2022. I know that I, I feel that I, I felt that we, I'd switched to standing years ago. It was a long time ago, but... But be, leading up to that, I would just kind of, yeah, it was just like low energy. I would get really sleepy sitting in a chair, and it just didn't feel good. And then standing up was just felt a lot better after the initial standing part. Yeah, Jay is saying Francisco Alvarez, Gabriel Moreno, prospect catchers a lot of helium as well. Yeah, it could be a could be a nice era of the of the catcher coming up. And there's Cody Bellinger, nice belly. Fifty eight out of seventy five, little Dodger Joe Mojo for Jason. I think he's gonna be. He started to put those shoulder issues behind him last year in October. I think he could be in for a big season this year. All right, home run challenge card will send to you as well. All right, so here's a quick look at what you got, Jason, in box six in Random Team 4. Thank you very much. You got that nice short print, the nice Yachty 18 out of 25, and a Wander Franco base card. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're giving away, in each break we do tonight, let's just grab two random party packs. This is the Topps Rip Party. That's why we're ripping this. It's out tomorrow, right, technically? Tomorrow. So, yeah, tomorrow. We're, that's why we're ripping it early, because this is the Topps Rip Party. There's event exclusive right here. So now let's flip back 
to this list right here. Can we please rig something else beside this? Sorry, it's going to be this for the next five hours. Check the schedule, Pete. Let's gather everybody's names again. Let's roll it and run it. Top's rip party, man. All day, every day. Not every day. All day today. Top's rip party. We're excited about this. Thank you, Top's, for letting us break this early. Um, and thanks for the party packs. Let's roll it, randomize it, three and a two, five times. One, two, three, and a two, right? Four and five, four, and fifth and final time. Name on top, Paul and Brian. Congrats to you, we'll send these to you sealed. I don't know what kind of fun stuff can pop out of here. You can, we'll send it to you so you can sell it if you want to. You can rip it yourself if you want to. If you get something cool out of here, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next Series 1 break. Bye-bye.